Jews have had a continuous presence in historic Bulgarian lands since before the 2nd century CE, and have often played an important part in the history of Bulgaria. Today, the majority of Bulgarian Jews live in Israel, while modern-day Bulgaria continues to host a modest Jewish population. Roman era Jews are believed to have settled in the region after the Roman conquest in 46 AD. Ruins of sumptuous 2nd century synagogues have been unearthed in Philippopolis, now Plovdiv, Nikopol, Ulpa Eskis, modern day Gigan, Pleven province, and Stobi, now in Macedonia. The earliest written artifact attesting to the presence of a Jewish community in the Roman province of Mosia Inferior is a late 2nd century CE Latin inscription found at Ulpa Escus bearing a menorah and mentioning archisynagogos. Josephus testifies to the presence of a Jewish population in the city. A decree of Roman Emperor Theodosius I from 379 regarding the persecution of Jews and destruction of synagogues in Illyria and Thrace is also proof of early Jewish settlement in Bulgaria. Bulgarian Empire After the establishment of the First Bulgarian Empire and its recognition in 681, a number of Jews suffering persecution in the Byzantine Empire may have settled in Bulgaria. Jews also settled in Nicopol in 967. Some arrived from the Republic of Ragusa and Italy, when merchants from these lands were allowed to trade in the Second Bulgarian Empire by Ivan Asin II. Later, Tsar Ivan Alexander married a Jewish woman, Sarah renamed Theodora, who had converted to Christianity and had considerable influence in the court. She influenced her spouse to create the Serdom of Vidin for her son Ivan Shishman, who was also a Jew according to the matrilineality in Judaism. In 1352, the Church Council ordered the expulsion of Jews Bulgaria for heretical activity, although this decree was not rigorously implemented. Physical attacks on Jews followed. In one case, three Jews who had been sentenced to death were killed by a mob despite the sentences having been repealed by the Tsar. The medieval Jewish population of Bulgaria was Romaniote until the 14th to 15th centuries, when Ashkenazim from Hungary 1376 and other parts of Europe began to arrive. Topic: <inaudible> Ottoman rule. By the completion of the Ottoman conquest of the Bulgarian Empire 1396, there were sizable Jewish communities in Vidin, Nikopol, Silistra, Pleven, Sofia, Yambol, Plovdiv and Stara Zagora. In 1470, Ashkenazim banished from Bavaria arrived, and contemporary travelers remarked that Yiddish could often be heard in Sofia. An Ashkenazi prayer book was printed in Saloniki by the rabbi of Sofia in the middle of the 16th century. Beginning in 1494, Sephardic exiles from Spain migrated to Bulgaria via Salonika, Macedonia, Italy, Ragusa, and Bosnia. They settled in pre-existing Jewish population centers, which were also the major trade centers of Ottoman-ruled Bulgaria. At this point, Sofia was host to three separate Jewish communities, Romaniotes, Ashkenazim and Sephardim. This would continue until 1640, when a single rabbi was appointed for all three groups. In the 17th century, the ideas of Sabbatai Zevi became popular in Bulgaria, and supporters of his movement, such as Nathan of Gaza and Samuel Primo, were active in Sofia. Jews continued to settle in various parts of the country, including in new trade centers such as Pazurgic, and were able to expand their economic activities due to the privileges they were given and due to the banishment of many Ragusan merchants who had taken part in the Chiproft Sea Uprising of 1688. Modern Bulgaria A modern nation-state of Bulgaria was formed under the terms of the Treaty of Berlin, which ended the Russo-Turkish War of 1877–78. Under the terms of that treaty, Bulgarian Jews of the new country were granted equal rights. In 1909, the massive and grand new Sofia Synagogue was consecrated in the presence of Tsar Ferdinand I of Bulgaria as well as ministers and other important guests, an important event for Bulgarian Jewry. 
Jews were drafted into the Bulgarian army and fought in the Serbo-Bulgarian War 1885, in the Balkan Wars 1912-13, and in the First World War. 211 Jewish soldiers of the Bulgarian army were recorded as having died during World War I. The Treaty of Newly after World War I emphasized Jews' equality with other Bulgarian citizens. In 1936, the nationalist and anti-Semitic organization Ratnik was established. In the years preceding World War II, the population growth rate of the Jewish community lagged behind that of other ethnic groups. In 1920, there were 16,000 Jews, amounting to 0.9% of Bulgarians. By 1934, although the size of the Jewish community had grown to 48,565, with more than half living in Sofia, that only amounted to 0.8% of the general population. Ladino was the dominant language in most communities, but the young often preferred speaking Bulgarian. The Zionist movement was completely dominant among the local population ever since Hovive Zion. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II Starting in July 1940, Bulgarian authorities began to institute discriminatory policies against Jews. In December 1940, 352 members of the Bulgarian Jewish community boarded the SS Salvador at Varna bound for Palestine. The boat ran aground 100 metres off the coast of Silivri, west of Istanbul, and sank. 223 passengers drowned or died of exposure to frigid waters. Half of the survivors were sent back to Bulgaria while the remainder were allowed to board the Darien II, but were imprisoned at Atlet by the British Mandate authorities. In March 1941, the Kingdom of Bulgaria acceded to German demands and entered into a military alliance with the Axis powers. In the wake of the Onesea Conference, German diplomats requested, in the spring of 1942, that the Kingdom release into German custody all Jews residing in Bulgarian administered territory. The Bulgarian side agreed and began to take steps for the planned deportations of Jews. In the same year, the Bulgarian parliament and Tsar Boris III enacted the law for protection of the nation, which imposed numerous legal restrictions on Jews in Bulgaria. Specifically, the law prohibited Jews from voting, running for office, working in government positions, serving in the army, marrying or cohabitating with ethnic Bulgarians, using Bulgarian names, or owning rural land. Authorities began confiscating all radios and telephones owned by Jews, and Jews were forced to pay a one-time tax of 20% of their net worth. The legislation also established quotas that limited the number of Jews in Bulgarian universities. The law was protested not only by Jewish leaders, but also by the Bulgarian Orthodox Church, some professional organizations, and 21 writers. In winter 1943, the Bulgarian authorities finalized arrangements with the Reich Main Security Office for the first wave of planned deportations, targeting Jews in Sofia 8, and the Bulgarian occupied territories of Thrace, Macedonia, and Pirot. Approximately in February 1943 the Bulgarian government, possibly in response to the changing tide of the war, indicated through Swiss diplomatic channels its willingness to allow Jews to leave for Palestine on British vessels across the Black Sea. The Bulgarian overture was rebuffed by British Foreign Minister Anthony Eden, on the grounds that, "...if we do that then the Jews of the world will be wanting us to make a similar offer in Poland and Germany there are simply not enough ships." In the first half of March 1943, Bulgarian military and police carried out the deportation of the majority of non-Bulgarian Jews, 13,341 in total, from the occupied territories, beyond the borders of Bulgaria before the war, and handed them over into German custody. On the eve of the planned deportations, the Bulgarian government made inquiries regarding the destination of the deportees and asked to be reimbursed for the costs of deportation. German representatives indicated that the deportees would be used as labor in agricultural and military projects. As recorded in the German archives, Nazi Germany paid 7,144.317 leva for the deportation of 3,545 adults and 592 children destined for the Treblinka extermination camp. 4,500 Jews from Greek Thrace and Eastern Macedonia were deported to Poland, and 7,144 from Vardar Macedonia and Pomorovlia were sent to Treblinka. None survived. On March 20, 1943, Bulgarian military police, assisted by German soldiers, took Jews from Komotini and Kavala off the passenger steamship Kara George, massacred them, and sank the vessel. No Jews were deported from Bulgaria proper. 
News of the deportations in the occupied territories incited protest among opposition politicians, members of the clergy and intellectuals in Bulgaria. While Tsar Boris III was initially inclined to continue with the planned deportations, Deputy Speaker of Parliament and prominent member of the ruling party Demeter Pashev persuaded him to delay. On March 19, 1943, Pashev introduced a parliamentary resolution to halt the deportations. The resolution was rejected by the ruling party, which forced his resignation by the end of the month. Pashev's resignation was followed by further protests, notably from Metropolitan Stefan I, which persuaded the Tsar to cancel the deportations entirely in May 1943. Shortly thereafter, the Bulgarian government expelled 20,000 Jews from Sofia to the provinces. The Bulgarian government cited labor shortages as the reason for refusing to transfer Bulgarian Jews into German custody. Expelled men were conscripted as forced labor within Bulgaria, some of the property left behind was confiscated. Shortly after returning to Sofia from an August 14 meeting with Hitler, Boris died of apparent heart failure on 28 August 1943. 11. Dmitry Pashev, opposition politicians, the Bulgarian Church, Tsar Boris and ordinary citizens have been variously credited with saving the Bulgarian Jews from deportation. Later, Bulgaria was officially thanked by the government of Israel for its defiance of Nazi Germany. This story was kept secret by the Soviet Union, because the Royal Bulgarian Government, the King of Bulgaria and the Church took actions that contributed to the huge public outcry and calls from the Bulgarian people to defend their Jewish friends and neighbors. The communist Soviet regime could not countenance credit to be given to the former authorities, the Church, or the King, as all three were considered enemies of communism. Thus, the documentation proving the saving of Bulgaria's Jews only came to light after the end of the Cold War in 1989. The number of 48,000 Bulgarian Jews was known to Hitler, yet not one was deported or murdered by the Nazis. In 1998, to thank Tsar Boris, Bulgarian Jews in the United States and the Jewish National Fund erected a monument in the Bulgarian forest in Israel honoring Tsar Boris. However, in July 2003, a public committee headed by Chief Justice Moshe Besky decided to remove the memorial because Bulgaria had consented to the delivery of the Jews from occupied territories of Macedonia and Thrace to the Germans. <laughs> After World War II and Diaspora After the war, most of the Jewish population left for Israel, leaving only about a thousand Jews living in Bulgaria today 1,162 according to the 2011 census. According to Israeli government statistics, 43,961 people from Bulgaria emigrated to Israel between 1948 and 2006, making Bulgarian Jews the fourth largest group to come from a European country, after the Soviet Union, Romania and Poland. The various migrations outside of Bulgaria has produced descendants of Bulgarian Jews mainly in Israel, but also in the United States, Canada, Australia, and some Western European and Latin American countries. Historical Jewish population Info from the Bulgarian censuses, with the exception of 2010 Notable Bulgarian Jews Albert Aftalian (1874–1956), economist from Ruz. Mira Arroyo, born 1977, musician and member of Ladytron, from Sofia. Gredi Assa, born 1954 in Pleven, professor, Academy of Fine Arts, Sofia. Maxim Behar, born 1955, businessman and public relations professional, from Schumann. Elias Canetti (1905–1994), Nobel Prize-winning writer, from Ruz. Solomon Abraham Rosans (1862–1938), historian, major contributor on the history of the Jews in the Balkans, from Ruchik, Ruz. Tobiah ben Eliezer (11th century), Talmudist and poet, from Koster. Itzhak Fintzi (born 1933), actor, from Sofia. Samuel Finzi, born 1966, actor from Plovdiv. Solomon Goldstein, 1884 to 1968, 1969, communist politician from Schumann. Moshe Guren, born 1926, cardiologist and researcher from Sofia. Joseph Caro, 1488 to 1575, author of Shulchan Aruch, raised in Nicopol. 
Nikolai Kaufman, born 1925, musicologist and composer, from Ruz. Milcho Leviev, born 1937, composer and musician, from Plovdiv. Yehuda Levi, born 1979, Israeli actor and male model. Jacob L. Moreno (1889–1974), founder of Psychodrama, father from Pleven. Judah Leon Ben Moses Moscone (1328), Talmudist born at Ored. Eliezer Papo (1785–1828), writer on religious subjects, born in Sarajevo, became rabbi in Silistra. Jules Pachin (1885–1930), modernist painter from Vidin. Isaac Passy (1928–2010), philosopher from Plovdiv. Solomon Passy, born 1956, politician and former Minister of Foreign Affairs from Plovdiv. Valery Petrov (1920–2014), writer from Sofia. Solomon Rosanis (1919–2004), Supreme Court judge and lawyer from Ruz. Sarah Theodora (14th century), wife of Tsar Ivan Alexander. Pancho Vladigerov (1899–1978), composer, teacher. Mother was Jewish. Bulgaria's National Academy of Music in Sofia is named for him. Angel Wagenstein, born 1922, film director from Plovdiv. Alexis Weisenberg, 1929 to 2012, pianist from Plovdiv. Israel Kalmi, 1885 to 1966, member of the Jewish Consistory of Bulgaria. Topic: Knesset members. Benjamin Arditi, 1897 to 1981, from Sofia. Michael Bar Zohar, born 1938, from Sofia. Shimon Bayarano, 1910 to 1971, from Plovdiv. Yaakov Nahashtin, born 1925, from Kazanlak. Yaakov Nitzani, 1900 to 1962, from Plovdiv. Victor Shem Tov, 1915 to 2014, from Samakov. Emanuel Zisman, 1935 to 2009, from Plovdiv. Topic. See also. List of synagogues in Bulgaria. Topic. References. Topic. Further reading. Topic. External links. <references>